What's going on guys? My name is Noah and I got another commentary to bring you guys and this one is pretty interesting. It's about the Xbox 720 and, uh, and my opinions on it and, and if it really should be released and if it's the right time to be released. Um, so this commentary was really sprung up by uh, a tweet that IGN put out and it was um, new info about the Xbox 720, whatever, it was, it was something about it but it had, you know, the name Xbox 720 in it. It was talking about it. And um, my kind of reaction to that was, um, you know, I don't think it's the right time for a new system. I really don't. And um, the reason I say that is, uh, you know, new game, new groundbreaking um, technology games are being made, um, you know, month by month it seems like. You know, every month, especially in 2012, we're uh, having like a new game released, you know, something new to break the grounds of something, whether it's graphic-wise or sound-wise or animation-wise, something's, something's new. Okay, and uh, one of the reasons that I just think it's the wrong time for a new console is that it, one of the one of the main reasons is it, it's just no one has like enough money to buy a new console. I mean, me included. I mean, if if the Xbox 720 were, were bre excuse me, I fuck words up all the time. If the Xbox 720 was to be released, like let's say next month, it would probably be between 250 and 300 dollars, um, maybe even more, maybe something around 350 dollars. Okay, if you remember, that's around the same price as the PS3 was when it first came out. Um, and, I, like I said, I just don't think people have the money, and I don't think people are willing to spend that much for a new console. Now, I would be willing to buy the Xbox um, if they cut down on media, meaning like Netflix and Facebook and, and porting all that to the... To the um, Xbox, and more so focused on improving the overall, um, performance of the console itself, meaning, you know, upping, uh, you know, upping the hard drive space, upping the, the, uh, I don't know the exact terms off the top of my head, you have to, I have to apologize, but making it so, you know, games run it, you know, Battlefield 3, for instance, rather than 30 FPS, run it something over 100 FPS, you know, I, I would so much rather performance over just features, I, I really don't care, I use Netflix, that's pretty much all I use out of uh, the features that are for the Xbox, and I, I kind of wish they focused more on that, and maybe even releasing a new revamped 360, than um, releasing an overall new console in general. I just, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, it doesn't seem like anything is going to be released for this 720 for the next, I, I, I'm going to say, year. Um, you know, and, and like I said, I just don't think it's the right time, you know. Um, I feel like it's not going to focus on feature on a performance. I think it's going to focus, like I said, more on features. It's going to be like 3D compatible and all that shit. And um, I'm sorry, I don't care about that. And I don't think a lot of people do. Uh, and if you do, please leave a comment telling me you do, if you do care and, and why you care. And you got to remember, guys, this is my opinion. And if you dislike my opinion, leave a comment. Don't dislike the video. I just, you know, it's just to make sure, you know, my point's being across that I'm allowed to express my opinion just as much as you are, and if you leave a comment, you know, disagreeing with me, respectfully, I will respectfully respond, you know. Um, but now that that's out of the way, uh, I did have a friend counter with that, uh, it's been roughly seven years since the 360 was released, and it is time for a new console. That's what he was saying. And um, I was, I, I'm still under the impression that it's just not the right time. I don't think it's smart of Microsoft to do it. There's nothing wrong with the 360. Um, and there's nothing wrong with the PS3. You know, I mean, don't fix what's broken unless you're going to improve it. And I guess that kind of goes along with don't, if, you know, don't fix it if it's not broken. Um, you know, I don't have any problems with the 360. Sure, you know, FPS isn't great. Sure, you know, sometimes you're, you, you'll hit a laggy game or something. Something like that. Something will happen. But, you know, you got to remember, you're not playing on a completely amazing $1,200, you know, uh, 600 FPS uh, pro gaming PC. Now, again, if they were to do that to the 720 and make it so that games would run over 100 to 120 FPS over that or around there, you know, I would be happy. And uh, But, again, price range still has a lot to do with that. If they did that and still made it for roughly, oh, I, I don't know, maybe, you know, $250, that's a decent price. 250 is not bad for a new console. Anything over 275 really is kind of starting to say, okay, let's chill the fuck out. You know, I don't, I will never spend $300 on a console, never, ever, ever in my life. Um, I don't think I ever have. I bought my Elite for $250, um, you know, four years ago. 
Um, and I've never had a problem with it, ever. I've never had to get a new Xbox. I've never had anything break on it. Everything has worked fine with it. You know, granted, I do keep a fan on it 24-7, but that's aside the point. Um, you know, leave me your, leave me your suggestions on, and what you would like to see in the 720. And if you, like I said, if you do think it should be released, um, you know, I, I feel like we're just going to see 3D shit and all this media shit with it and not enough improvements overall to the hardware itself. Um, you know, just alone to run the games at, at a higher performance level would need more hard drive space, thus causing more money to be spent. Meaning, you know, I, I don't know, the Xbox 720 standard would probably have between, uh, what's the standard these days for Xbox, the regular Xbox, I think there's like 4 gigs, which is fucking ridiculous. Uh, I think the standard alone would just be over 30 gigs just to hold the games. I mean, like, I, I forget downloading the 720 games down to your hard drive, that would just fill up something like... 20 gigs, I mean, not not really 20, probably around 12, depending on how high of a performance game it is. I mean, if it's something like Battlefield 3, and uh, the system can run it around 200 FPS, you know, frames per second, um, yeah, that might be around, you know, 8, eight to, to 11 gigs, you know, I mean, um, it's just, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's a good idea, and maybe, maybe we'll, you know, a uh, shade of light will shine on this, and they'll not sell it for an insane amount of money. They'll sell it for maybe 250, and uh, it'll still be good performance. Because, like I said, I could do without all the media stuff. You know, they're they're kind of focusing more on that. Granted, they're separate teams working on different things for the Xbox, just like there are with any other console. But I mean, still, I, it's just it's not it's not the right time. You know, um, I don't think the I don't think it would sell well. In all honesty, uh, the new Xbox really didn't make a huge impact. Um, meaning the new Xbox Slim or whatever the fuck it is, you know, it didn't make a huge impact. I, I think the only people who bought it was either people who had their Xbox originals break or people who were just now buying the system. You know, it's really no different from the 360. Uh, I do, or the, the regular 360, I'm saying. Um, I do, however, really, really like the fact that the new Xbox has, um, wireless, the wireless adapter built into it. Uh, because I've had a lot of trouble with my wireless adapter. It fucks me over all the time. I fucking hate it. It's the most irritating thing. It just shuts off randomly. I've gone through two of them in the past four years. I I hate it. <laughs> it's the it's really the most annoying thing. So that, that would probably be the, the best con that I could, or pro that I could find of the new Xboxes. Uh, other than that, there's really, it, it goes along with the classic, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Um, you know, granted that could be argued with all the uh, red ring of death kind of thing and and all that, but those were fixed back in 09, or 08, 08 or 09, whatever, whichever, um, because they used X clamps rather than screws, and the X clamps were plastic and they would melt um, because of the heat of the Xbox, thus getting into the motherboard of the Xbox and all that, just causing it to completely die, basically. Whereas now they use screws, they started that, uh, I want to say 08 or 09. Um, that's right around where I got my Xbox. That's my Xbox is one of the first Xboxes, um, like the line of Xboxes that had the uh, the screws rather than the X clamps. Um, you know, like I said, Microsoft uh, doesn't really smile upon that fact, um, and hopefully we won't see that problem if the 720 is a big hit. You know, and maybe it could flop because they do something stupid or or try and make it, uh, you know, cutting edge by using or not cutting edge, but uh. Um, you know, lower their expenses with mass producing it with uh, different lower level products causing them to fuck themselves over and, and the fans buying them because this commentary has come to an end. Leave me your opinions below and remember, this is my opinion and please be respectful about it. I'm respectful with yours. Peace.